We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. Welcome to the Holocron uh, Horde Illuminati podcast, and we're back for a new episode of old uh, favorites and sometimes long forgotten sets. And today we're, we're going to go with one of the original marathons, the Bounty Marathon. With me as always is Greg. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing great. Feeling and, swell. Uh, Feeling swell. And I have my little clicker here with me. Like, you know, she, she's work, My kid's working on a project next to me on her computer right next to me, so there's got a lot of clicking, but that's fine. It adds to the ambiance. Yes, yes. It gives it a lived-in feeling like the Star Wars universe. Yes. Well, um, going back to the one of the original marathon sets with bounties, this was always really a fan favorite from those who were, who were in the app the whole time. But from what I understand, not really yours. <laughs> no, I you know I, I was never really a fan of the uh, the look of them. I mean, I, I get the I get the concept and stuff, um, but I, I was never really super crazy about the look of it. And I had a similar feeling when they did um, what was that one where they had one of the first sets? It was a marathon. It had the lenticular thing. Um, it was very similar in looks to the bounty. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what the hell those were called, but they were kind of gray and they just, the frame just kind of jiggled around a little bit when you moved your phone uh, and they reminded, uh, they reminded me of the bounty, even though I have all the bounties, uh, um, you know, if you're like in the app long enough, you get bored and you're like, well, let me go ahead and slap together a 30 card marathon set from 2015. <laughs> um, so I did. So I have all of them. Um, and, and they're cool. You know, there's a lot of good OT stuff in there, but there's also a ton of uh of, of tune stuff in it which i just really yep. don't care much for yeah for for me this was one of the the first sets you know I, I wasn't exactly a day one guy into the app but i did come in in may of 2015 and this was always one of those exciting sets that really got the community moving you know it was kind of to me it was always this set and vintage thursdays that, that would always be like the, the main ones people were always really excited about especially early on in the bounties and for those that don't know when you pulled these bounty cards it would actually increase your coins yeah they actually so like, like that they paid a bounty like if yeah. you pulled it when you pulled it in the packet it gave you a little a little bounty and um uh, you know when we talk about um people getting in trouble in the early days the band hammer and stuff like that um, one of the things that they were really down on was cycling um, and, yeah. and um, you know, uh, trading cards around like um, the, the uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, trading that one around yeah. to get to get to get just to get those measly few coins. Um, people would do that and then they'd get in trouble. Um, in I, yellow base. I can't recall if that I don't think you got a bounty when you traded for one. Um, yeah. So that probably precluded that. But, and you know, if it was, I think they were like one in 25 odds or something like that. So yeah. if you one packed it, hooray, I'm ahead of the game today. And, uh, but if you, you know, if you pulled it odds, you really weren't getting much back. Um, and, and didn't the awards also pay when you completed a leg? I, I think there may have actually been a bounty for completing each wave as well. Well, that's one of the things. I, I was never really good at collecting early on, so I never got one of those awards. I'm still not that great in at real it. time. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I've been I've been watching some videos to try to get better. Yeah, <laughs> no, I can't um, I can't recall if there was a big payout. I'm sure that somebody on Reddit will go, "Hey, fucking idiot!" Yes, there was, and tell us all about it. And it'll be Rick Bors because <laughs> he knows all this stuff. I try we try to get him on here all the time because he knows every fucking thing, but yeah. he's too busy. So this um, is what you get, folks. Thank Rick. <laughs> to, to me, the, this was the the perfect insert for the old insert pull um, notification, where you'd pull the card and your phone would shake and it used that blaster that. Beep, beep, it was like the perfect card for that, and I really miss that aspect of pulling the inserts. I know they've worked over time to make some of these pack animations and things better, but. 
to me, there's still nothing better than hearing that pew, pew, and yeah. knowing you got you got an insert because the app used to be so unstable. Like you wouldn't see the card half the time, but you hear the sound. You'd be like, I guess I got, I got it. it. I got it. I heard the sound. <laughs> well, you know, that brings to mind, too. And this is a complete tangent. But you remember back in the early days when you would get a trade accepted and you'd get a little R2-D2 yeah. uh, trill with your phone would go off. Walking through the store. And yeah, you'd, you'd be walking around out in, the, out in the mundane world and all of a sudden R2-D2 starts going off and your pocket and it was so fun and it was so exciting you immediately went to your phone and opened it up to see what it got accepted um and then when we started hoarding holy shit that thing was going off all the time man (laughs) it was amazing it was really fun and i wish they'd find a way to bring that back but back to bounties yeah (laughs) sorry (laughs) (laughs) so i really i know you weren't a huge fan of these but i really like the look of this design and it's a template that's been used by tops over and over again is even though the classic 30 card marathon ended in 2015 they brought this set back multiple times over and over with either new movies or anniversaries within the app and it's really stood the test of time so if we go back to the original poll you mentioned like something like one in 25 one in 30 odds but that was still back in the time when they had master access where you could could, pay your buck or buy a bundle you could pay into lower odds and not only would you pay into lower odds, you'd pay for early admittance to that, early access yeah. to that card. Yeah. And that was sometimes that was when, be like an hour early. Right. And when you were when you were doing that, you were buying into the um, seller's market basically because that yes. first hour, everybody's the same. We all want to get this shit over with, you know. <laughs> I just want to be done. Okay, can I just be done? Um, and that's what everybody wants. And so if you paid in that 99 cents and, and got the thing and went out there, you would get offers on these things that were so much more than you would get when everybody else was able to pull oh, yeah. for free. Because a lot of people just like, man, I just want to be done. I want to go back to my life. Um, you know, I got things going. There's a sandwich in here. It's getting cold. I got to get back to it. <laughs> Can I just get my card and go? So um, those that was, early access overpays were something unreal. Sometimes. Yeah, amazing. And I mean, you know, we, we joke now about the, you know, the send reflections thing now. But, you know, in those early days of the apps, shit like that would happen. And I mean, in the first year, first few months of the app, you could say send send vintage Han. And sometimes just for shit like bounty, somebody would send you a fucking yeah. vintage Han or last week's vintage or the week before that. You never knew what was going to come over mm-hmm. the transom for that 99 cent buy in. It was really kind of exciting. Yeah, and this was still a time when these marathons were all in a single pack. For those of you who weren't around in mm-hmm. 2015, there was a, there were different levels of base packs, and the one that everyone loved and still remembers fondly is the Boba Fett base oh, pack. Baby, yeah. And those were all 5,000 credits across the board. All the marathons would go into this single pack. And they would stack. And they would stack. If something they would sell stack out the like previous crazy. day, they just... You could be pulling, uh, you know, inserts from three and four days back at one at one shot. It was amazing. Yeah. They were loaded. Some of these packs. Yeah, there were times when people would say, "Oh, it's a triple dip this week. We've got Top's Choice and Galactic Moments and Bounty all in the pack at once right now. Hop in there and nail this because really a one in thirty and a one in twenty five and a one in twenty, you know, that's really gonna, you know." come down to like a one in 10 chance of getting right. an insert. Yeah. They would stack and they were, they really stacked. I mean, it was yeah. like all those things combined in, as you say, a much lower odds overall for any given insert. And you could, you could pull the wrong, you know, the, ins- maybe not the thing that you were, you were trying to get, but there, it was so active and the trading back then was insane. I mean, you, yeah. the, the fan feed just, you couldn't keep up with that thing. You could post on that, and it would you would scroll off that thing in like sixty seconds. It was crazy. Oh sure. You had to literally just spam constantly, just bam and bam, bam as fast as you could. Every time you could get a spam in to, to just stay on the radar. It was crazy, yeah. so active, um, and really exciting. Yeah, and so this was not only uh, the double and triple dips, but those base packs that they came in. They also had fifteen cards in them. So as hoarding started to take off, which is now a cornerstone of the app, mm-hmm. these base packs were just were just totally bolstering your account. And you were like, OK, I opened 10 packs. I've got 150 cards now, yep. you know, for, for 50K. This was like a hoarder's dream right when that was still getting started and it had everything from 
white to yellow base in it. Mm. So yellow is the equivalent today of green for those of you who weren't around. Plus we and, have the, we had the smuggler stand where we could meld up. Right. So twenty yellows equal to gold, and golds were hot shit. Yep. And still are. Today, yeah, people are still looking for 2015 golds. Yeah, yeah. Despite the counts on them being in the, yeah. you know, the 10, 10,000 on up to the moon, uh, yeah. they're, you know, it's it's laughable to think how um, something that high count could be, still be so sought after, but they are because they're a gold standard. <laughs> yeah. What did I just there do? We go. Why? You made a money joke. I know it was good. <laughs> I killed it. Now, <laughs> you know, we look back at these fondly. But there were times when Tops made mistakes with these marathons, yeah. almost almost weekly. The the kind of running joke was that you were always going to get a Galactic Files or a Galactic Moments variant for the week because that set went on forever beyond thirty weeks. <laughs> yeah, they and because up. they didn't have the card to do a whole pop. episode just on all the foul ups, bleeps, and blunders <laughs> on that set because there's so many uh, red variants because they just couldn't get one out in time. It was ridiculous. Poster variants and things like that. Well, one of those var- one of those variants exists within the bounty yes. set as well. It was a Cad Bane yeah, and red, it's a red Bane. card. Yeah, and it's one of the lowest counts in the set too. Um, that yeah. one's a 3,000 count. They're all over the place, the counts on these things, from yeah, 3,000 all the way up to 6,000. Um, and that was that was a time where um, Tops really wasn't so great about sticking to their guns on counts. They would start something out and go, oh, shit, well, these are selling out. Because things would sell out, like, really fast, like, yeah. you know, really quickly. Um, vintages routinely would sell out, you know, within... 10 minutes, half an hour, and then we had situations like the the server meltdown for Luke Preps and things like that. Um, it was really exciting times. There was there was upwards of forty to 50,000 people actively playing in the app at that time. Um, yeah. and they just could not keep up with, with what was going on. So a hot drop was just flaming hot drop. And the demand was so huge for everything. It was It was really crazy, wild time. Yeah, th- those were the days when a thousand count insert was low. Yeah, that was and that was like whoa. People got really insert. excited about you know because like the night bros and stuff like that. Those were those were in that count range. Yeah. Um, and, and then like the ultimate baller shit was you know in the fifty to thirty five count when we're talking about like teal shadow box or um, the gold um, hoths where they landed around fifties or, yeah. or the black TKs. 50 count was like insane. Now that's like, eh, you know, it's kind of a negligible um, base variant count. Uh, but back then, man, that was blazing. The hottest yeah, shit. To get an, an idea of how big the user base was, go into all cards and look up Crimson. Those were the 2015 variants. that Everyone got one free per day. Yep. And some of those counts are near, I believe, in the 70,000s. Yeah. So and you I mean, you not you gotta, necessarily 70,000 yeah. users. Yeah, you got to count for ops in there, but still, I mean, I, you know, I'd say at least two-thirds of that number was active users at that time. Yeah, yeah and now you get a fan's choice vote, and some of those only have four or 5,000 on them. Yeah. If definitely, that. definitely has changed a lot. But the bounty, the bounty templates, one that they brought back um, a year out from the launch of the app, they had their first anniversary, um, mm-hmm. and that's when they started doing revisited. Um, at, they did that for a couple of years in a row, and the first time they did it was for they did a was it wasn't Force Awakens, was it the Last Jedi? Um, it was it was the the Force Awakens. And it was part of the second anniversary set. That's right. Okay, and then they, they had all kinds of weird other stuff in there as well. It was almost like a box release because they yeah, had all so kinds of weird stuff in there. But they also had those bounty um, templates in there again. Right, and they we'll, had Finn and Poe in multiple variants. Yeah, and then we came around to when Rogue One came out. That's that's when they also did another big set of bounties. Um, so they had, you know, K2SO and all that stuff. And when they came out to solo they did they did some more they did some more revisited yeah. with the the bounty template um one of the best things that they ever did with bounty was they actually took the original bounty set and they actually did a bounty hunter themed um chase um which you may see around here and there um and those are the purple bounties those were hot shit for 48 hours. Oh, oh my goodness. Baby, yes. I mean, that was that was really hot shit because it was a it was a short chase. 
um, not horrible odds, but you had to, there was four or five different ones that you had to collect. Let me bring them up so I can look at them. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yep. So you basically had all your usual suspects. You got IG-88, you got Dengar, you got Zuckus, you got Bosk, you got Forlom. Mm -hmm. You want to collect all these guys. Obviously, you want to get all of them. But once you have all them, there was two different melds available for a Boba Fett card. Yep. And that was a guaranteed meld. If you melded, there was two different, you know, you could do, uh, you know, uh, these four or these four of those five to get that card. And it was guaranteed. You, you, you're going to get your Boba Fett. And those have those came in around 284 <laughs> around 284 it was exactly 284 i'm looking at the card right now yes <laughs> um so pretty pretty low and back then even lower plus it's a badass boba fett card it's a really yeah. really cool looking card the purple really works for it yeah and it, people see those around and they're like oh that's neato that's interesting i want to run those down um what a lot of people don't realize is that there was another meld available with that yes. uh, chase and that was the one where you really kind of hung your nuts out over a cliff and see what happens. Uh, because that was a 10% chance. But if you got it, you got a, um, it looked like a platinum. It was a base variant of Han Solo, the ultimate bounty. That's the one everybody was after. And um, it's a gorgeous card. Really difficult to find. 28 count is where it ended up at. So you can see the um, odds were never in your favor. Most people wouldn't risk that meld. Um, but the few no. that did and actually were able to get it to pay off, only 28 of those are in existence. Um, and what's interesting about that, that Han, I know you have one, you yeah. lucky bastard, and is that they didn't use the Han bounty card that already existed within the bounty set. Mm -hmm. They made it a 2015 base variant. Right. And it looks almost exactly like a um, Pearl. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, very a, close. it's a 28 count and it sits in, I don't know, remember where it sits in, it um, sits the sheet in tier now. nine, Funk, some bullshit like that. But, um, I tried to trade for that card for over a year, um, uh, with no success. And I offered the moon to people who had it. I mean, literally like here's an entire set of reflections with both awards. No yeah. flat. Nope. Not going to do it. Never. No way. Um, it was really tough to get a hold of, um, and then I ended up getting two of them, which one of them I traded to our friend OB to OG, um, somewhere down the road. Uh, but it's it's a really tough card, and it's it's almost it's one of those forgotten rarities. It's it's so niche that most people don't even know it, it exists. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know that there's there's a time when I was I was collecting, but I was also selling pretty heavily at that point during the purple bounty chase and the one that always stuck out to me was that ig88 purple that one has a much lower count yeah because that one was involved with both melds right you either had one you know two of the i believe it was two of the bounty hunters plus ig88 for the boba fett meld then to the other two plus ig8 for the han meld right and that one's much lower and at the time People look at eBay values now and go, oh, this junk bronze gilded is going to get me like $15. This IG-88 was getting me $12 to $15 in during that 48-hour chase. People don't realize just how high these cards were going and what people were paying to have the opportunity to get nothing. <laughs> yeah, from that yeah, mulch it and get a wah, 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 sad trombone. You get nothing. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Good day, and, sir. And they're 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 gorgeous. Those purple cards just stick out in the card sheet. Just they they just radiate, <laughs> and they're <laughs> so good looking. And it's just a shame to see them, you know, split up from some of the other bounties now. But they're tremendous looking cards that most people will never have in their deck because they're just people don't give them up. And, and some it feels like some people were kind of mad about those because they did a variant. Of a set, oh, they were pissed. Uh, yeah, they, they were, were pissed. pretty angry because there was, a, you know, this was a set that they had finished and completed, and then, you know, a few months down the road, all of a sudden, here they come again in a different form and more rare. Um, mm -hmm. We've gotten used to that sting now, and we see it all the time with with gildeds and and various things like that. Or you know, first edition comes out, and then oh, by the way, here's another version later that's even more rare with count limited, um, you know, baller level stuff. 
So we, we've gotten used to that. But at the time, people had really not seen that. And there was another set called um, Prime, um, which was not the Prime uh, marathons that we saw later. Yeah. But these were variants of pre-existing inserts um, that they put out. And these were also purple. <laughs> uh, yes. So you had a, like a purple um, Jedi Sith Warriors Ahsoka uh, or a, a, a Manga Vader and stuff like that. And these were all very low count cards as well. Um, so they kind of went and took another bite at that apple and kind of made some people upset about it at the time. Now, even though we talked about there being Rogue One and Solo, it's not the only time we, we've still seen this within the app. Most recently, the Bounty card came back again when they did the Alan Tudyk K2SO sig. Right. We got a signature version of that bounty. So those who, who collect the bounty cards now had to hunt down a 30 count signature. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and well, those well. that also collected the bounty set had to live with the fact that now there is a black box Darth Maul bounty sitting out there it is essentially an open edition card. So they say, even though they've never so they sold say, them again. Never again. But it sits in common now. Yeah, I, and, I have that one. Yeah, I do too. It's a 40, <laughs> 4765 count card, and who knows, maybe more to come. We've maybe. bitched so much about these open items that never came back that, um, you know, you never know. Those may, may come back again. Now, the thing that Tops forgot about these bounty cards is they, they brought that template back over and over. They've done away with the bounty. So when you pulled an anniversary Finn or Poe, you didn't get a credit bonus with that. No. When you pulled uh, Rogue One, guess what? Those were just bundles. Those <laughs> yeah. were awful bundle odds for those who don't remember. It was like four or five bucks to get a shot. If you got like a Bays or a Bodhi, but if you wanted Saw or Jin, those were like one in thirty, one in fifty in bundles. Yeah, that was that was a, a big fuck job, and I I, I still don't have that Jin um, from those because that of course was the rarest one, and yeah. they just wanted you to just keep plink, you know plinking off dollar bills until you nailed it. Kid in that slot machine, yeah. <laughs> but yet you could get that. I believe Bays was the lowest, uh, the guarantee. Oh, I've got and a ton of those. Lot, you want some, Adam? <laughs> no, I've got I've got Adam at one point. Because people were trading those away for nine white base for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, shit, that's an insert for nine whites. I'll take that. Yeah, it's like a 5,500 count card. Now, <laughs> <Can I? laughs> we still saw this one more time when they did the Star Wars card trader physical cards. They put a good chunk of that bounty set into the physical box. But because those are already in digital form, they didn't come back again to digital. So you can still piece together 20 of the original, what, 33, 34, yeah. because of the awards, in physical form, and have those if the servers crash and they do away with the app someday. There's still a chance to have a physical card of the digital tops bounties, well, which know, are really cool. What's really great is now you can finally take those cards that you love so much in the app, and with that and a clothespin, you can put it in the spokes of your bicycle, and it sounds like a motorcycle. Yep. That's yep. Badass. <laughs> um, I'd be remiss without talking about how they've reused this mechanic a couple times, though. So, in Slam, most recently, we've seen that in the Notorious Villain set that they just brought back for another wave about a month ago, where if you pull one of these cards, you get that bounty bonus. It's kind of a wanted poster in the slam. Same concept, exactly. Mm -hmm. Where you pull that card, you get 10K or 100K if you pull a certain card. And those are monstrously popular there because free credits. Yeah, and, and money in the bank is the same kind of thing, too, yeah. where you pull a card and boom, you get you get a little payback. And a lot of times, if you're if you're doing lucky, you can start on this thing and, and buy packs and end up with more credits than you started with at the end of the deal. Yeah. It's crazy. And we saw that in Star Wars Card Trader. They reused this concept twice now. Uh, a couple of years back, they did the Easter egg cards, oh, yeah. which were <laughs> egg-shaped, yeah. where they, they were kind of the mystery well. mechanic. Mm -hmm. And if you pulled, like, the Stormtrooper or the R2, those were low odds. But if you pulled Vader, you got, like, what, 500,000 coins or something like that? 
Um, they did the same with the uh, Pilgrims of Jeddah also. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I have so fucking many of that one gym. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many of that one glam. It has like a 40,000 count or something. Fucking A. <laughs> and I get people trying to trade them to me all the time, too. And it's like, nope. I do nope. not want those. <laughs> I have a lot of bad memories. I'm trying to shake loose, man. I do not want any more of those lantern head motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, well I think that at this point we've proven that we like this mechanic so I think Top should probably bring it back in some aspect yeah, and I, you mechanic. know, I, like I say I, you know at first I didn't care for the look of those um, and there was a lot of tune stuff but it's it's a um, like you say it stood the test of time um, maybe against my will just because it's come back so many times and it's kind of a fixture in the app now um, that I, I wouldn't be mad if I saw it again. And I, I wouldn't, I would especially um, not be mad if it came back with some form of that payout um, deal that they used to have. Um, even if it was a little something to make you feel like, you know, you did something more than just get a card, you know what I mean? You felt like yeah. you were almost, you know, you could role play. Hey, I'm a bounty hunter. I just caught so-and-so. I got 5,000 credits. You know, I'm a big hot shot. Everybody look at me in my fur coat and my fancy cigars. Is that what a bounty hunter wears I don't in know. your fantasy? I don't know. That's how I roll. <laughs> That's how you I sound roll. like a pimp. <laughs> okay, not maybe it's a pimp. A bounty hunter. Okay, pimp hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I get five thousand dollars from all my bitches. <laughs> that would be incredibly popular, but a really bad idea. <laughs> yeah, really bad Terrible idea. idea. Don't take that Forget one. Forget that one. Please. Forget that one. But uh, be sure to check these out in the app. Bounty will get you there. There's no real good search term other than bounty. So you're gonna pull in everything bounty hunter related. Yeah, and and. Various things that have come up over the years. Right. Anything that has you bounty. You might see title, some cards but... you want to collect. Hey, bounty exactly. hunter, look at all these lovely bounty hunters I'd love to collect. And if you only did the original marathon and you like that design, you may find that you're missing a lot of these ones that came later that you want to kind of complete the whole bounty collection. Well, most so... most of the original um, the original marathon I actually did by cross trade um, yeah. because there were a ton of guys from Bunt and Huddle that were already around and you get a couple three years out from those and that they could give a shit about them and I was able to collect almost all of those via cross trade including the the uh, awards you know nice so I mean it's it's something you can do it's a project you know if you're bored with mm -hmm. the app hey go collect all the bounties I challenge you I'll give you 5,000 credits <laughs> 5,000 pimp credits. 5,000 5, Horde Illuminati credits, which gets you zip <laughs> nothing in the Horde it's, Illuminati gift shop. <laughs> you get one of those little, it's like the, those little things you put your fingers in and you can't get them out anymore. <laughs> Chinese handcuffs. <laughs> it's the office, Shroot Bucks and Stanley Nichols. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> well, um, I've had a great time talking about this today, Greg. Yeah, so. me too. Fun yeah, stuff. so yeah, we'll be back uh, with another episode real soon with another uh, old and golden moldy uh, that we'll, we'll try we'll, to find a way to get pimps in, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you just all you got to do is put your fur coat on. There you go. And a big fancy go. cigar. Yeah, so be sure to follow us at Horrorcast on Twitter, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts for all your podcasting needs and a bunch of other aggregators that we get picked up on from SoundCloud. Uh, be sure to email us, podcast at gmail.com. Or if you want to be part of this, you know, send us a suggestion, you know, call in with something that love, you want to talk you know, about. Here, I just had a fantasy. I had this fantasy that if uh -oh, we would, wait, we would wait start... Hey, okay, do I need it's to mute the screen? Do I need to mute the screen? No, it's cool. Your fantasy. If, okay, okay. If, and my fantasy is that we would start out and we would have a caller going, Hey, guys, I'd love to hear about so-and-so. And then we would we would go, Okay, cool, let's do that, and we'll talk about that. And that would be a really amazing piece of production. So be a part of that. Call in 904-628-1138. Leave us that voicemail. Tell us what it is you want to hear about. If you've got some fond memories you want to share at the same time, Go ahead and do that, and we'll put it in there, and that would be a real, uh, an amazing show. We might win an award. Yeah. 
So in I the meantime, why I imagine there's these awards all the time. Because we like awards. Um, we like award cards yeah, too. Yeah, I want a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> like a trophy. Participation <laughs> ribbon. Yeah, something, anything. Well, <laughs> um, th- this was bounties on the Holocron, a Horde Illuminati podcast. It's Adam and Greg. We'll see you next time. Arrivederci. We are Legion. We are all. We are one. We are watching. watching.